I just want this to be over. So I'm watching there now. Magnificent. First alarm, first alarm. Toothpick is for losing your hair. Don't be brushing me chickens. Yes. guys good morning good morning good morning welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl ama and i'm so glad to have you here today you guys last night was a lot i am doing my best to talk as clearly as possible because i may be sounding <laughs> i know i know you don't get it yet i'm going to bring you up to speed hey you guys <laughs> this is currently 11 p.m my tooth hurts if you've ever experienced a toothache, you will know that a toothache doesn't just hurt in your tooth. It hurts everywhere. It hurts your head, your body, your jaw, your entire face. Like, toothache is something I cannot wish anybody. Now, last year, October, I went to the dentist for the first time in my life. My wisdom tooth on both my lower jaw the two sides has been giving me headaches so they did what they did so as update here as an update video can go this is an update video this is the day after the procedure i did yesterday false alarm false alarm <laughs> i did not need an extraction of any sort whatsoever i felt relieved for a while but it's back and now it's killing me. It's like it came back for revenge or something. I don't know what. I mean, so much pain. Like, God. I was saying that I'll probably go next week. But from what I'm seeing, my guy, I'm going there tomorrow morning. I'm dreading the pain of wisdom teeth extraction so much. Because I just finished binge watching a lot of videos on YouTube about extracting wisdom teeth and all of that and it's not pretty the last time i went to the dentist the anesthesia was not anesthesia <laughs> forgive me the anesthesia or the numbering cream or whatever it's called did not work they injected my gums injected my cheeks it did not work they ended up rubbing numbering cream it did not work i'm telling you that i felt Oh my god i was crying like it was it was not a fun experience now imagine having to feel through an extraction i'm so scared but i'm also so in pain and it's so annoying that this is like beyond my control like i literally have nothing i can do about it nothing Oof. anyway you guys i've said all i can say i'm in pain i just want to i just want this to be over i just I'm good <laughs> i know yesterday night i looked a mess like i'm even surprised i'm this you know bubbly this morning but thanks to god and i took painkillers as well right now i'm going to the hospital i'm ready and i'm rushing there now because Today is Friday and some offices tend to work like half day on Fridays and I really want a solution to this. So I don't want to have to wait till next week. At least even if they see me and recommend something or like tell me something, at least I know what I'm waiting for next week than to just stay and be waiting. <laughs> so I'm rushing there now. I'm going to take you guys along definitely and... Yeah, let's let's go and get this sold because I'm done. I'm done with this pain at this point. <laughs> and hopefully we don't get to feel the kind of pain we felt last night ever again. I'm leaving now. Bye guys.
But if you come home to nothing you Will find it hard to be happy soon And everything that you thought was true Comes crashing down like you don't want it to But if you let us in open up And just be honest and start to trust We have your hand no matter what Even when life gets really tough It's not a game that we are playing Just reflect and stop the shaming No one wants this, especially you If you don't think we care then you're the fool Then you're the fool Hey guys, what is up? What is up? What is up? This is the day after I went to the dentist. I'm so sorry I did not come back to update you yesterday. I was so tired. You guys know that I did not sleep much the night before, so when I finally got relief, I slept. <laughs> I just got back, freshened up, ate, took my meds. I look pretty. <laughs> Alright, so this is an update video. I feel amazing now. I can talk properly. I do not feel pain. Like as I yesterday, you could even tell that the moment I stepped out of the doctor's office, I felt a lot better. That was because they knew what they were doing and they solved the issue. So again, first alarm, first alarm, first alarm, first alarm. <laughs> I did not need an extraction. I already explained what they did. It was pericarditis and they treated it with dental curettage. It was just basically bacteria and food, debris and all of that. There's only so much you can reach under that gum flap at the edges of your mouth. Although dental care procedures have been explained to me and I'm going to, it's not what I'm going to, I have to do my best to follow them. You think that when you just want to brush, you just put your brush inside your mouth and you are brushing your teeth. My dear, there is a procedure to it. <laughs> I did not know there is a procedure to it. I had to be taught that and some other dental care tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys as well because I've got you. We're friends here. Yeah, we're doing this life thing together. So we might as well help each other out. Before I share those dental care tips with you, I just want to like quickly show you guys my meds because I don't know, some sort of drug haul. <laughs> no, that's on the wrong. Let's call it medication haul. I was giving are you going to focus or not? I was given amoxicillin and chlorvenalate, potassium, something, something. This is antibiotics. And I was given metronidazole. I was given vitamin C, the OG, the white vitamin C. You guys know that when we were younger, this white vitamin C was like old people's vitamin C. We wanted the yellow one that was sweet. And then paracetamol for the pain. These are the meds I was given. And thankfully, it's not a lot. Actually, I'm one of those people that I do not care about medications. Like, give me one drum of medications, but don't give me an injection. I don't want an injection. But you can give me, like, I will, I will drink it. <laughs> I will drink it. Just don't bring any needle near me. And yeah, I had already run out of dental floss. I was giving dental floss. You guys, toothpick is for losing your hair. Toothpick is for changing. I don't know, but toothpick is not for your mouth. Please don't be putting toothpick into your mouth. Get dental floss if you can. It will really help your um, oral health and i was giving tongue cleaner for extra oral care so yeah um let me just quickly share the dental tips with you large food in your mouth like food debris and all of that can cause inflammation and pain so if you eat something sugary try to like swish water in your mouth and spit it out so that your mouth can be fresh after every meal brush twice a day something the dentist clarified for me yesterday was that the most advisable times to brush is in the morning after your breakfast and then lasting at night reason being that when you brush lasting at night your mouth is fresh you eat your breakfast in the morning then you brush your mouth is fresh for the whole day before you're able to brush at night again then you brush at night you brush in the morning like before your breakfast what is the point you get like you wash off the debris of your breakfast and some people don't even eat during the day till later so your mouth is fresher for longer you get yes when you're brushing yeah brush from your gum up for the top part you brush from your gum down like don't be brushing the video i linked in the description box definitely check it out it's going to help you understand that there is a procedure to brushing okay don't just brush randomly brush the the flat surface of your teeth brush it brush from your gum down this one up 
<laughs> I look ridiculous. When you're washing, try to get to the end. Also, with that, I'm going to explain what the dentist told me about your toothbrush. The tip of your toothbrush, let me just use this tongue, this thing to explain. The tip of your toothbrush should be curved. Your toothbrush should not just be straight, like from the top to the bottom. I'll find a picture of a toothbrush that suits that description and put it on the screen. It should be curved at the top part. It should not be fat from the beginning to the end. Your toothbrush should be slim and curved at the top side so you can enter properly. And your toothbrush should not be hard. I don't even know why they make hard toothbrush. And it should not be soft. Soft is for babies. It should be medium. When you think you're trying to wash your mouth properly, you then enjoy your gum. Your toothbrush should not be hard. You're not a... <laughs> if you're dealing with something like I dealt with, pericornitis, most late teens to their early 20s deal with this thing. It's just your teeth trying to grow and then your gum not letting it grow properly and it's getting inflamed. You might be avoiding it because of the pain and as you're doing that, you're unconsciously making the situation worse because you're not cleaning that place properly because you're avoiding because of the pain so try to be pushing the gum back when you're brushing it's going to help the gum recede like go back a bit and grow out properly as i was told i'm not a dentist though i'm not a dentist <laughs> go to your dentist at least once a year <laughs> i only went when i started to have something to do with the dentist I don't know but try to go to the dentist as 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 often as you can use a toothpaste that has fluoride it doesn't need to be expensive the funniest part is that all these big brand toothpaste that are very expensive like thousands of naira for toothpaste they are the ones that don't even have that fluoride which is the active in with ingredients <laughs> before i bite my thumb which is the active ingredient once it has fluoride you're good to go except you now have sensitive teeth that require special care and all of that then the dentist can now prescribe a toothpaste that will suit your condition but other than that just find a good toothpaste that has fluoride in it please take care of your teeth <laughs> take care of your teeth take care of your oral health use mouthwash if you can brush your teeth twice daily after breakfast and at night use a tongue cleaner just take care of your oral health um dental care procedures can be avoided if you actually do the right thing and your teeth does not go back Apart from like milk teeth to permanent teeth so please just take care of your oral health you don't want to be having bad breath and you don't want to be having pain unnecessary pain that you don't have to deal with you don't have to deal with that kind of pain i know that that night video i made i <laughs> i was watching it and i was just like cringe i was like what kind of drama queen are you <laughs> but i was in pain guys i was in pain so yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me and I feel good i feel fine and yeah if you like this video if you found it helpful if you found any of my dental care tips helpful please click on the like button subscribe to my channel share it to your friends or anybody that might find it helpful and i'll see you in my next video till then stay blessed